geometric dimensioning and tolerancing is a system for defining and communicating engineering tolerances. It uses a symbolic language on engineering drawings and computer-generated three-dimensional solid models that explicitly describes nominal geometry and its allowable variation. It tells the manufacturing staff and machines what degree of accuracy and precision is needed on each controlled feature of the part. GD and T is used to define the nominal geometry of parts and assemblies, to define the allowable variation in form and possible size of individual features, and to define the allowable variation between features. Dimensioning specifications define the nominal, as modeled or as intended geometry. One example is a basic dimension. Tolerancing specifications define the allowable variation for the form and possibly the size of individual features, and the allowable variation in orientation and location between features. Two examples are linear dimensions and feature control frames using a datum reference. There are several standards available worldwide that describe the symbols and define the rules used in GD and T. One such standard is American Society of Mechanical Engineers Y14.5-2009. This article is based on that standard, but other standards, such as those from the International Organization for Standardization, may vary slightly. The Y14.5 standard has the advantage of providing a fairly complete set of standards for GD and T in one document. The ISO standards, in comparison, typically only address a single topic at a time. There are separate standards that provide the details for each of the major symbols and topics below. Dimensioning and Tolerancing Philosophy According to the ASME Y14.5-2009 standard, the purpose of geometric dimensioning and tolerancing is to describe the engineering intent of parts and assemblies. This is not a completely correct explanation of the purpose of GD and T or dimensioning and tolerancing in general. The purpose of GD and T is more accurately defined as describing the geometric requirements for part and assembly geometry. Proper application of GD and T will ensure that the allowable part and assembly geometry defined on the drawing leads to parts that have the desired form and fit and function as intended. There are some fundamental rules that need to be applied. All dimensions must have a tolerance. Every feature on every manufactured part is subject to variation, therefore, the limits of allowable variation must be specified. Plus and minus tolerances may be applied directly to dimensions or applied from a general tolerance block or general note. For basic dimensions, geometric tolerances are indirectly applied in a related feature control frame. The only exceptions are for dimensions marked as minimum, maximum, stock or reference. Dimensions define the nominal geometry and allowable variation. Measurement and scaling of the drawing is not allowed except in certain cases. Engineering drawings define the requirements of finished parts. Every dimension and tolerance required to define the finished part shall be shown on the drawing. If additional dimensions would be helpful, but are not required, they may be marked as reference. Dimensions should be applied to features and arranged in such a way as to represent the function of the features. Additionally, dimensions should not be subject to more than one interpretation. Descriptions of manufacturing methods should be avoided. The geometry should be described without explicitly defining the method of manufacture. If certain sizes are required during manufacturing but are not required in the final geometry they should be marked as non-mandatory. All dimensioning and tolerancing should be arranged for maximum readability and should be applied to visible lines in true profiles. When geometry is normally controlled by gauge sizes or by code, the dimension, S, shall be included with the gauge or code number in parentheses following or below the dimension. Angles of 90 a degree are assumed when lines are shown at right angles, but no angular dimension is explicitly shown. Dimensions and tolerances are valid at 20 a degree Celsius slash 101.3 kilopascals unless stated otherwise. Unless explicitly stated. All dimensions and tolerances are only valid when the item is in a free state. Dimensions and tolerances apply to the full length, width, and depth of a feature including form variation. Dimensions and tolerances only apply at the level of the drawing where they are specified. 
it is not mandatory that they apply at other drawing levels, unless the specifications are repeated on the higher level drawing, s. Note, the rules above are not the exact rules stated in the ASME Y14.5-2009 standard. Symbols, tolerances, type of tolerances. 1. Unilateral 2. Bilateral type. Notes, when applied to a feature of size. Can also be used as a form control without a datum reference. When a datum feature of size is referenced with the MMC modifier. When an MMC modifier is used. Automatic per rule number 3. The symmetry symbol's characteristics were not included in the version of the chart that this chart is derived from. The symmetry symbol was dropped from the Y14.5 M standard around 1982 and re added around 1994. Datums and datum references A datum is a virtual ideal plane, line, point, or axis. A datum feature is a physical feature of a part identified by a datum feature symbol and corresponding datum feature triangle, for example. These are then referred to by one or more datum references which indicate measurements that should be made with respect to the corresponding datum feature. GD and T data exchange, exchange of geometric dimensioning and tolerancing information between CAD systems is available on different levels of fidelity for different purposes. In the early days of CAD exchange only lines, texts and symbols were written into the exchange file. A receiving system could display them on the screen or print them out, but only a human could interpret them. GD and T presentation, on a next higher level the presentation information is enhanced by grouping them together into callouts for a particular purpose, for example a datum feature callout and a datum reference frame. And there is also the information which of the curves in the exchange file are leader, projection or dimension curves in which are used to form the shape of the product. GD and T representation, unlike GD and T presentation, the GD and T representation does not deal with how the information is presented to the user but only deals with which element of a shape of a product is which GD and T characteristic. A system supporting GD and T representation may display the GD and T information in some tree and other dialogues and allow the user to directly select and highlight the corresponding feature on the shape of the product, 2D and 3D. Ideally both GD and T presentation and representation are available in the exchange file and are associated with each other. Then a receiving system can allow a user to select a GD and T callout and get the corresponding feature highlighted on the shape of the product. An enhancement of GD and T representation is defining a formal language for GD and T which also has built-in rules and restrictions for the proper GD and T usage. This is still a research area. GD and T validation, based on GD and T representation data and the shape of the product in some useful format, it is possible to validate the completeness and consistency of the GD and T information. The software tool FBTOL from the Kansas City plant is probably the first one in this area. GD and T representation information can also be used for the software assisted manufacturing planning and cost calculation of parts. CISO 10303 224 and 238 below. GD and T, ISO TC 10 Technical Product Documentation, ISO 128 Technical Drawings A Euro Indication of Dimensions and Tolerances, ISO 7083 Symbols for Geometrical Tolerancing A Euro Proportions and Dimensions. ISO 13715 Technical Drawings A Euro Edges of Undefined Shape A Euro Vocabulary and Indications, ISO 15786 Simplified Representation and Dimensioning of Holes, ISO 16792-2006 Technical Product Documentation A Euro Digital Product Definition Data Practices, ISO 2010, ISO ISO TC 213 Dimensional and Geometrical Product Specifications and Verification, in ISO TR 14638 GPS A Euro Master Plan The distinction between fundamental, global, general and complementary GPS standards is made. Fundamental GPS Standards, ISO 8015 Concepts, Principles and Rules Global GPS Standards 
ISO 14660-1 Geometrical Features, ISO TS-17, Orientation and Location, ISO 1101 Geometrical Tolerancing A Euro Tolerances of Form, Orientation, Location and Runout, Amendment 1 Representation of Specifications in the Form of a 3D Model. ISO 1119 Series of Conical Tapers and Taper Angles, ISO 2692 Geometrical Tolerancing A Euro Maximum Material Requirement, Least Material Requirement and Reciprocity Requirement, ISO 3040 Dimensioning and Tolerancing A Euro Cones, ISO 5458 Geometrical Tolerancing A Euro Positional Tolerancing, ISO 5459 Geometrical Tolerancing A Euro Datums and Datum Systems, ISO 10578 Tolerancing of Orientation and Location A Euro Projected Tolerance Zone, ISO 10579 Dimensioning and Tolerancing A Euro Non-Rigid Parts, ISO 14406 Extraction, ISO 22432 Features Utilized in Specification and Verification General GPS Standards, Aerial and Profile Surface Texture ISO 1302 Indication of Surface Texture in Technical Product Documentation, ISO 3274 Surface Texture, Profile Method A Euro Nominal Characteristics of Contact Instruments, ISO 4287 Surface Texture, Profile Method A Euro Terms, Definitions and Surface Texture Parameters, ISO 4288 Surface Texture, Profile Method A Euro Rules and Procedures for the Assessment of Surface Texture. ISO 8785 Surface Imperfections A Euro Terms, Definitions and Parameters, Form of a Surface Independent of a Datum or Datum System. Each of them has a Part 1 for the Vocabulary and Parameters and a Part 2 for the Specification Operators, ISO 12180 Cylindricity, ISO 12181 Roundness, ISO 12780 Straightness. ISO 12781 Flatness ISO 25178 Surface Texture, Aerial General GPS Standards, Extraction and Filtration Techniques, ISO TS 1661 Filtration, ISO 11562 Surface Texture, Profile Method A Euro Metrological Characteristics of Phase Correct Filters, ISO 12085 Surface Texture Profile Method A Euro Motif Parameters, ISO 13565 Profile Method. Surfaces Having Stratified Functional Properties. ASME Standards American Society of Mechanical Engineers, ASME Y14.41-2003 Digital Product Definition Data Practices, ASME Y14.5-2009 Dimensioning and Tolerancing. ASME Y14.5 M1994 Dimensioning and Tolerancing, ASME Y14.5.1 M1994 Mathematical Definition of Dimensioning and Tolerancing Principles, ASME Y14.5.1 M2, GD and T Standards for Data Exchange and Integration, ISO 10303 Industrial Automation Systems and Integration A Euro Product Data Representation and Exchange ISO 10303-47 Integrated Generic Resource, Shape Variation Tolerances, ISO TS 10303-1130 Application Module, Derived Shape Element, ISO TS 10303-1050 Application Module, Dimension Tolerance, ISO TS 10303-1051 Application Module, Geometric Tolerance, ISO TS 10303-1052 Application Module, Default Tolerance, ISO TS 10303-1666 Application Module, Extended Geometric Tolerance, ISO 10303-203. Application Protocol, Configuration Controlled 3D Design of Mechanical Parts and Assemblies, ISO 10303-210 Application Protocol, Electronic Assembly, Interconnection, and Packaging Design, ISO 10303-214 Application Protocol, Core Data for Automotive Mechanical Design Processes, ISO 10303-224 Application Protocol, 
Mechanical Product Definition for Process Planning Using Machining Features, ISO 10303-238 Application Protocol, Application Interpreted Model for Computerized Numerical Controllers. See also, Specification of Surface Finish, References. Further reading, Mikhail, Michael R. A. Conceptual Data Model of Datum Systems. Journal of Research of the National Institute of Standards and Technology 104, 349 Euro 400 DOI, 10.6028 slash JRES. 104.024, Henzold, Georg. Geometrical Dimensioning and Tolerancing for Design, Manufacturing and Inspection 2nd Edition, Elsevier, Oxford, UK, 2006. Srinivasan, Vijay. Standardizing the Specification, Verification, and Exchange of Product Geometry, Research, Status and Trends. Computer Aided Design 40, 738 Euro 49 DOI, 10.1016 JCAD. 2007.06.006A, Drake J.R., Paul J. Dimensioning and Tolerancing Handbook. McGraw Hill, New York, 1999, Newman. Scott and Al Newman. GOTOL Pro, A Practical Guide to Geometric Tolerancing per ASMEY 14.5-2009. Society of Manufacturing Engineers, Dearborn, Michigan, 2009. ISBN 978-0-8726-3865-5, Bramble, Kelly L. Geometric Boundaries 2. Practical Guide to Interpretation and Application ASMEY 14.5-2009, Engineers Edge, 2009, Wilson, Bruce A. Design Dimensioning and Tolerancing. U.S., Goodhart Wilcox. PA 275. ISBN A 9781590703281A, External Links. General Tolerances for Linear and Angular Dimensions According to ISO 2768, Interactive Map of GD and TJJ, What is GD and T, The Importance of GD and T, GD and T Glossary of Terms and Definitions, Free GD and T Help and Tips, Justification for GD and T, GDT, Introduction, ASME Certification, Changes and Additions to ASME Y 14.5M, NISTMBEPMI Validation and Conformance Testing Project Tests Implementations of GD&T in CAD Software